Hi Virgo and a very warm welcome to your March 2019 horoscope. This is a very big month because not only is your ruler Mercury going to go retrograde but Uranus, the higher octave of Mercury, is changing sign on the same day. So what's all this going to mean for you lovely Virgos? Let's break the month down. On the second of the month, we've got Venus coming into your seventh house. What a lovely placement. There's a party going on in this seventh house this month. And Venus there much of the month. This is wonderful for romance, for love. It's not necessarily the best time for getting into a new relationship with Mercury going retrograde on the sixth. However, it is a wonderful time for reevaluating your relationships for looking at the way you communicate, for looking at how you listen and hear what somebody is trying to tell you, whether you ever understand what they're saying. So it's a wonderful time really to just look at your needs, what you want in a relationship, what are you dreaming for with Neptune there, and the Venus can certainly bring that to you, but just go slowly with the Mercury retrograde so that when it goes direct on the 29th of the month, you may see things more clearly at that point. And so this is on the 6th of the month, Mercury going retro. I would be very careful about signing contracts and doing important deals and any kind of partnership situations during the retrograde between the 6th and the 29th. If you have to, just make sure you get the documents checked very carefully. And so on, also on the 6th, We've got Uranus joining Mars here in your ninth, and Uranus is going to be in that ninth house for you until 2025. So what does this mean? Well, Virgos, this is an awakening for your spirituality, your consciousness, an opportunity for your soul journey to open up into new realms, an opportunity for you to take your education in a new direction, your career in a new direction, an opportunity for traveling more than you've ever done. An opportunity for learning, taking your education to a higher level. Maybe teaching, maybe sharing, maybe blogging, maybe writing books. But certainly taking this metaphysical interest that many of you have and taking it to a new level. And it could be very enlightening and very fulfilling. It's all going to be a question of how many risks you're willing to take and how willing you are to go outside of what is normally comfortable for you. On the 8th of the month, we've got a lovely new moon in the relationship house, a new beginning, new opportunities. You can brush the, the cobwebs away from an existing relationship. You can brush away your doubts, your worries about past relationships, and you can begin to see relationships in a new light. It is a very positive new moon for you. On the 20th, we've got a full moon happening in your financial house. And on the 21st, the sun in your eighth, which is also a money house. So second and eighth houses getting activated from the 20th of this month. So this brings some changes potentially for you financially. Maybe you need to budget differently. Maybe it's time to earn a living in a different way. Something may come to a head financially that you need to take action on. Maybe it's your taxes. Maybe it's insurance, pension, investments, a loan. Maybe you need to change provider. Lots of change opportunities in the financial area, which could be very positive. And with the sun and the eighth, there could be some good news about a partner's finances. Maybe some good news, somebody investing you, sponsorship, sponsoring you, giving you a grant, and also shining a light for you to really go more deeply into your spiritual journey, to maybe face some of your fears and to bring them into the light and see that when you shine a light on them, they've no more, no more power over you. So there you have it, it's an exciting month ahead for you, dear Virgos, and um, thank you very much for listening, for commenting, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Bye for now.